All right, so it is Saturday, the day before Father's Day here in America, but uh, I'm, I got this weird booker, I got it. But my cousin Andrew was like, we should do a family get together in our, in our backyard. Yeah, Gwen. I don't know why he's Kermit the Frog all of a sudden. <laughs> so they decided to do a hangout on today, Saturday, and I was like, well, let's say before Father's Day, let's make it a Father's Day celebration. So I'm driving with Snoop because this guy is too attached to my parents that he can't handle being near them without touching them. Since I touch him, they're not allowed to touch him. So I'm taking Snoop with me because he doesn't need cuddles or anything. He loves my parents, but he doesn't need them to pet him. As long as my mom throws treats at him, he's happy. So I'm gonna take Snoop and I'm gonna head out and let's go see my parents and my cousins and my brother. I'm in my parents' backyard and with Snoop and my dad is Cloroxing down some chairs. Say hi dad, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Rachel. Good job, dad. The best father ever. I am the best father ever. So Snoop has fallen in love with my parents and is really stressed that they're not out here. <laughs> oh? Are you waiting for them? My daddy made me hot dogs. All right, I'm home now. I know I didn't film much, but I was talking with my family and my aunt showed up and I haven't seen her in forever. So we all just chit chatted for a really long time. It was fantastic, it was lovely, it was energizing. And now I'm back home. And so for some reason he has a bunch of energy, but he was out all day. So I don't know why he has energy. I don't know where Blaze went. Blaze? Oh, there he is. Are you kicking back? Did you pee? And now you're kicking back. Don't you dare kick back. I'm about to do dinner with Matthew. Ken's already didn't vlog much, but like when you haven't seen your family in forever and then your family's in front of you, the last thing you want to do is vlog. Oh, happy Father's Day. I hope you're being a great father today. Took the dogs on a run slash walk. Snoop wanted to run, Blaze did not. And I ain't gonna force them to do what they don't want to do when it comes to exercising. But I just laid some rock. Slowly uh, making my front yard pretty. It's very hot. It's like 11 ish. Yeah, it's 11, 71. It's not like extreme, but when you're out in the sun working, you get hot. Really, really, really great news, guys. My vacuum got here. I've been holding off ordering rugs so I didn't have a voo 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 vacuum. I only have like a shop vac and a little hand vac. And you need a voo 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 if you're gonna have a rug. So I got a voo 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 voo. and so now I can order rugs. But in reality, I couldn't get a rug until I got rid of all the mud in my backyard because the dog to just track it in. So in order to do that, we had to plant grass, but then I also need to put an AstroTurf on the side, but I can't order the AstroTurf until I got the awnings. So I just ordered the awnings, and then I'm on tomorrow, Monday, I'm gonna order the AstroTurf. And then I was like, oh, then I can get rugs. I'm like, wait, no, but then I'll, I need a vacuum first. So I ordered the vacuum. So I'm slowly starting to get into the spot where I can get rugs to make my rooms look better. So things are starting to move. So when it's 100 degrees outside, instead of just like 80 to 90, I don't have to go outside and I can enjoy inside and decorate my house and work on furniture, because I have a lot of things I I want to build a lot of furniture. I want to build. You know, I can't just like buy something. It's got to have a purpose. Every purchase saves pets. One mm -hmm. handed knife open. All right, there we go. Here we go. Let's see this. Oh my god, there's a thing for triangles. Okay, we did it. Oh, it's pretty light. Nailed it. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Mind you, I cleaned this a couple days ago with the shop vac, but let's see. Non più dry farfalon amoroso. Not to tor, no di tor, no. Look how much dust! Look at it! Look at it! I cleaned this rug like three days ago. <gasps> oh! So happy. This is so exciting for me. <sighs> Say goodbye to all of your fur you leave everywhere. Look at it. There's no fur. There's no fur. Now to clean the dirtiest floor of them all. The dog rug. Why were you just randomly next to me in every shot? We emptied her out, so she's just dusty, but she's clean. Get ready. Get set. Go. <laughs> there is an actual sand pit in there. Holy crap. That was all just the rug, not even the floor around it. Blaze. Dude. Disgusting. All right, I had to take a break from vacuuming, even though that's all I want to do right now is vacuum and clean. Like, my rug doesn't have fur on it anymore. Not even possible. I have to take a break because I have to write out the podcast because my mom and I are podcasting in an hour and a half. <laughs> 